Welcome to Mary's Coaching Corner. Today, we're gonna to talk about tears and fears. Many people see tears as something they don't want to see in themselves and others. Fears, many people look at as something that's bad. In today's Coaching Corner, I'm gonna invite you to consider a different viewpoint around tears and fears that opens up a whole new world of how you see yourself and how you connect with others. Okay, so what if tears and fears were simply sources of information and an acceptable sign of our humanity? So when we talk about our humanity, it's helpful to look at reframing our stories. We all have stories. These are the unconscious thinking patterns we have about you know, fears of who we are or who we are not, usually very disempowering. The opportunity with mindset, or mindfulness is to actually choose how you view something, choose how you relate to something such that you're in a more empowered position as to how you're relating to things like tears and fears. So if you look at this notion of reframing our stories, there's a great example, uh, Jessica Fender, who's a journalist. When we talk about uncertainty, we all face uncertainty. Jessica reframes this question of uncertainty by asking this question. When did I stop calling uncertainty by its other name, adventure? It's a great example of how you can reframe uncertainty that is usually an experience of discomfort to adventure. So to me, it's like getting in the ready position as an athlete. Um, so if you think of the tennis player, that ready position is they're centered, they're grounded, their knees are bent, they have the tennis racket in front of them, they're ready to go to the left or to the right. Reframing how you approach fears and tears or anything really is about being in the ready position, being mindful, having a mindset of readiness so that you are centered, you are grounded. You are able to respond to the external circumstance that come your way without the internal criticism. So I love this notion of mindfulness or mindset as getting yourself into that ready position. So let's talk about tears specifically. Are you a crier? Are you a non-crier? Do you put a lot of energy in making sure you don't cry? Well, the opportunity is to reframe it. So the way I look at crying or tears it is, is that it's simply energy running down my face or the face of other people in front of me. And the idea is to then just be curious about the nature of that energy. Is that person grieving? Is he sad? Is she angry? Are they disappointed? Or are they afraid of disappointing me or others? So when I allow tears to be useful energy or useful information, I can then get curious about the nature of that energy. If you think about fears, it's like the bots dots. <laughs> so many years ago, a friend of mine explained that those bots dots, those dots on the highway that tell you you're about to go into a direction you don't want to go, is really a great starting place of information. So consider the bots dots as a wake up call and a great place to start looking at where you do want to go. My favorite example of this is a golfer who lines up to hit the ball and says, I'm, I don't want to hit the ball in the sand trap. Neurophysiologically, we know that golfer is lining up to hit the ball in the sand trap because the brain sees an image is not words. So it sees ball and sand trap. Not a bad thing. It's based on fear. But if you look at fear as information, now that golfer can say, OK, wait a minute. What I do want is to see the ball land on the green, roll along the green, and drop into the hole. So using that fear as useful information as a starting point, the golfer is then able to choose the mindset that's going to have the ball go in the hole. So in summary, I invite you to consider a different way to look at tears and fears. I invite you to do the work to be in that ready position where you're choosing how you relate to things like tears, fears, 
and be in the position where you're centered, grounded, and ready to respond to external circumstance coming at you, because it will, without that inter internal criticism. Thanks for joining me today. And if you want to know what's next, you can access other videos at Mary's Coaching Corner. You can book us for conversations within your company or organization that creates a way for your leaders and teams to look at how to intentionally play big, because that's what we're about, playing big and being passionate about performance. I'd love to connect with you. I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me there. Thanks again. Enjoy your day.